So this is what's going on. Imagine this is your eye, and this is your pupil. If you're looking straight on at something, light will go right through the front to the back of the eye. As, thing, as light comes from the side, it comes through the pupil and it starts hitting the sides of the eye. You have sensors in the back of your eye on a part of your eye called the retina. You have two different kinds of sensors called rods and cones. Rods are either on or off or black and white. Cones detect color. They actually detect red, green, and blue light. Turns out those sensors are not evenly distributed on the back of your eye. Scientists have actually cut into human eyes and actually counted the density of those rods and cones. This graph might look complicated, but it's a diagram of the density of rods and cones on the back of your eye. Right in the very center is where you're looking straight on. Off over here on these edges, this is when the light is coming in from the side. If you notice, over here, the number of rods and cones are very low. So you don't see much, but it, the rod number starts going up rapidly, but the cone number doesn't for quite some time. Over here, these pictures represent the distribution of rods and cones. As you can see, when you're on the outer edge of the eye, you have a lot of rods, but you don't have a lot of cones. As you start getting closer and closer in, the number of cones starts going up, but the number of rods go up too. The number of rods go up substantially, but there is a point at which the rod number and density goes way down and the cone number goes way up. That's only in the very center of your eye. That's called the fovea. Scientists refer to your fovea, which is packed with millions and millions of cones, as the most valuable real estate in your body. It's where you see the world perfectly clear. And that's the only place you see it perfectly clear. So this distribution of rods and cones seemed to make sense from an evolutionary context. Rods are much more sensitive to light energy and to motion. So out here on the periphery, that's when you need to know if something is rustling in the woods or something is out in the forest or somebody's coming from around the corner. As you move forward towards the center of your vision, you start getting more and more detailed information. Your, uh, some more cones start getting activated, more rods get activated, but it's not really until you're looking straight on when you have your highest concentration of cones where you see the world really clear and crisp. What does that mean in regards to perception? Well, I only have a very small portion of my vision that is clear. Everything else is fuzzy out there. My brain puts it all together and it makes me think that everything is clear and detailed out there, but really, it's only a small portion of my vision. Try this experiment, have fun, it's really cool.